This week we're talking about supplements for running. Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to 40 Runs. Now, if this is your first time at 40 Runs, I want you to smash that pink button down there that says subscribe on it. Get over to our Facebook page and join the 40 Runs running community and check out the description. There's loads of cool things, including the link to some of the stuff I'm going to talk about today. Right, so I get asked loads about supplements, what supplements do I take, what supplements work, and all that sort of stuff when I'm marathon training, half marathon training. So today we're going to be talking all about that, so let's get stuck in. Right guys, so firstly, big disclaimer, big warning, big warning. Believe it or not, I'm not a nutritionist, I'm not a medical person, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a surgeon, I'm not any of that. Well, that'd be pretty awesome if I was. Um, so all the stuff I'm going to talk about today is based on my own views and stuff that I've done, stuff that I've researched previously, uh, and stuff that I've found that have helped me, stuff I've tried, all that sort of stuff. So I just want to put that out there. More importantly than anything else, if you are considering making a change to your diet or making a, a change and starting taking some of these supplements that I'm going to talk about today on, and you got concerns or, or you're not sure, and really, actually, more important than anything else, always consult your doctor. Go and, go and check with a health specialist whether these changes you should be taking, right? Because everybody's different, and you may be allergic to stuff, stuff may not work for you, and all that sort of stuff, and I don't want to be health responsible, okay? So make sure, before you change anything, and think about taking any of this stuff, that you check with a medical person, you know, your GP's a good shout, okay? So I wanted to tell you that, before we got really stuck into this. It is important to know also that you can get the most benefit from taking all this sort of stuff from naturally from your food, right? From food and drink, uh, whether it be I know, orange juice or whether it be from a slice of beef. To get all this sort of stuff, these minerals and these supplements and you know all these different things that we'll talk about like vitamin C and all that from actual natural sources is the best way of doing it, right? So I'm gonna put that out there now. So, But I understand that some people can't you know, tolerate certain things and they don't like certain things and the pace of life. Sometimes you just simply don't have time to take on enough uh, fruit and veg, I don't know. So that's why we're gonna talk about it today because I do get asked about it, so let's get stuck in. Right guys, so the first one is vitamin C. It's a nice easy one, everybody's probably heard of it. Uh, you can get it from many different fruits and stuff like that. Why do I take it? Well, I like to, um, help my immune system and vitamin C apparently helps your immune system. I take it in a multivitamin format. Um, obviously I have and try and have as best a diet as I can, but I like to top it up with vitamin C. I find when I'm marathon training, my immune system does take a hit. So vitamin, for, vitamin C for me is a winner. The next one, and again, it comes in a multivitamin format is vitamin D. Now apparently, don't know whether this is true uh, and it's probably worth checking it out, is the fact that it can reduce the risk of you getting the common cold. Now. I'm not saying that it does work, but the amount of times that I get the cold relative to everybody else in my household is pretty good. Uh, we've got a young family, so they bring every single bug into this house. And touch wood, I don't seem to get as much of it as all the other guys. Now I put that down to the fact that I'm taking multivitamins and part of that is the vitamin D. So maybe that's something that's worth trying. Right, another one is zinc, right? Zinc, apparently, Ken, I'll take it. Uh, it cuts down uh, the length of time that you have a cold for. So if you get a cold, zinc apparently is awesome. Now, before the Chelmsford Marathon, I had an absolute shocker of a cold. I took zinc and it seemed to cut down the period of time that I had it. I'm not saying it was the reason, I'm just saying I took zinc, someone recommended it to me, and it did help. So zinc is something, again, it's another sort of cold battler, but when you do get a cold, apparently it can shorten the time you've got that cold. Right, probiotics. Uh, this is one that you may hear about. Obviously, you can get this in the form of yogurt and stuff like that. That's the way I take it. Probiotics, again, it's all about immune system, helping your gut and all that sort of stuff. I do take probiotics. There are benefits from it. Um, again, I believe it helps me to be, uh, to be more immune and to sort of have a healthier sort of digestive system and all that sort of stuff, which I think helps me become a healthier person. Right, next up is omega-3, which can help apparently your endurance performance. Um, now, I don't get... Uh, I don't, sorry, I don't uh, have much oily fish. In fact, I have zero oily fish. I don't get much. I don't have any because I don't really care for it. I, I just don't like the taste. I'm not a big fish lover. Um, I may occasionally have a bit of uh, bass or something like that if I'm out at a restaurant, but it's got to be a push. I'd much rather have a steak. So I don't really take much fish on, uh, so I miss out on omega-3. And it does apparently uh, help with endurance performance. So I do take some omega-3 as well. Right, so the next one is magnesium. Yeah, magnesium. Uh, you may have heard about Epsom salt baths and stuff like that. That's got magnesium in it and it helps relieve some of those aches and pains. Um, 
Magnesium can help apparently with your performance uh, by moving blood sugar into muscles and it helps disperse some of that dreaded lactate uh, acid that can cause that sort of aches and pains. So that's why magnesium is pretty awesome. And you can also get some magnesium spray. I've used that. I used that on my Achilles actually and that brought the bruise out pretty quickly. Right, protein is the next thing that I take. Protein, additional protein. Uh, it's good to take protein after your long runs, uh, 30 minutes after your long run, because uh, it can help speed up muscle repair, muscle recovery. Um, you can take that in the form of shakes and things like that. Personally, I prefer eggs. Uh, it's a bit of a winner for me. But make sure, if you can, try and get some protein into your body about 30 minutes after that long run. So whether you take it in the form of a, a supplement or whether you try and get it from food, it's up to you, but it's definitely one to put on the menu. Right, I talk about recovery. The next one is turmeric. Um, I was shown this by somebody at the National Running Show where they want their next stand to us. Um, so I checked it out. I then went down to Costco and got a load of the um, sort of tablet supplement things. Um, and I've tried them. I wouldn't say they taste particularly nice. Um, but yeah, that it's all about um, helping your recovery, speeding up recovery and stuff like that. And it seems to work. Right guys, to finish with, we're gonna talk about enhancer stuff you can take, or, or I have taken as well, um, to help your performance. Um, the first and most obvious one is caffeine, uh, whether it be through uh, like a caffeine strip. I don't know if you've seen me on some of the videos, but I take Revies. Um, I tend to give them, uh, take them to give me a boost. Caffeine's awesome, it's a stimulant. It just gets the mind switched on and all that sort of stuff. Uh, but just bear in mind, there are side effects with caffeine. Obviously everybody takes, can sort of, React to caffeine differently is probably the best way to describe it. So, you know, some people get problems in the stomach, some people they get the shakes and all that sort of stuff, and obviously you might not be able to sleep. So just bear that in mind before you start taking extra caffeine on. Right, guys, so the last one is nitrates, uh, which can be found in beetroot. A lot of people talk about taking beetroot or beetroot juice, which tastes disgusting, um, but it's got nitrates in it. And what that does, uh, it moves your um, blood circulation around. It just speeds everything up. It can have a really good effect, apparently, on non-elite runners. Now, I tried this, and I would say I felt a little bit better. I wouldn't say I felt, like, awesome, but Kipchoge, for example, apparently uses it. So if it's good enough for him, it's good enough for me. Right, guys, so that's my list of supplements and stuff that I take. I kind of rattle when I walk along, but as I said, I try and get as much stuff as I can through the stuff I eat and drink. But you know what? Like I said, life gets in the way. Sometimes we don't have time to have that carrot and apple smoothie and stuff like that so there are things you can take they're the sort of stuff that i'm taking i don't take you know all of them at once for example but you know hopefully it gives you some ideas on the stuff that i'm doing let me know in the comments below what's the sort of stuff that you're taking what's the supplements you're taking why are you taking them and again really important people if you are going to be adding anything new into your diet you're going to be taking anything and you're not sure well even if you're not sure just make sure you check with a medical person or a dietary uh, diet person nutritionist or something like that to make sure that it is right for you